everybody uh, this is way too late tv i'm your host sam and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different we're going to be reacting uh and this is the first time i'm actually reacting to something uh reacting to alex mccullough's um final fantasy 14 close in the distance with 1000 singers from the final fantasy 14 community video and uh this is a first watch um I will link the uh, video in the extended of this video. Um, now, Alex McCullough is a uh, composer, video game composer, music composer, honestly. Uh, he, he absolutely loves video game music. Um, he has a couple of YouTube channels that um, they are must subscribes um, if you like music at all. Um, and uh, yeah, Alex McCullough is uh, one of the premier musical uh, people in uh, the Final Fantasy XIV fandom. Um, he has uh, done interviews with uh, Soken, uh, Masayoshi Soken, and in fact, uh, Nobuo Uematsu, uh, the grandpappy of uh, Final Fantasy music. Um, so, um, yeah uh this is uh this is pretty big um he uh he basically orchestrated the um the song here close in the distance which is uh an original song by masayoshi soken and jason charles miller from the uh final fantasy 14 and walker soundtrack um dedicated to the community and creators of the game so without any further ado here we go um, this is uh, Final Fantasy XIV Close in the Distance with 1,000 singers from the Final Fantasy XIV community. Great bar up there. Oh, here we go.
Wow. That was amazing. And you know, Close in the Distance is one of those songs that uh, um, Close in the Distance is one of those songs that's uh, kind of a tearjerker anyway. Um, let me actually get to a uh, picture of uh, uh, Alex. Um Alex, right there. <laughs> Alex and Harchafon. Yeah, great. Yeah, like I said, Close in the Distance is one of those tearjerker songs anyway. Uh, it's the, the song that plays in the... Uh, uh, the final zone of uh, Endwalker uh 6.0 story and uh it as the story progresses uh the song layers and layers and layers and layers till finally it breaks into the whole song when uh everything uh comes to a head and uh by the way don't 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 mind what's happening with my camera. It's it's something that I can't really fix right now, but it, don't worry about it. Um this is uh this is a truly Herculean effort, and I say that as uh an editor myself. Um Denmo McStronghuge uh really had their work cut out for them. Um this was uh to get a thousand a thousand thousand lives um a thousand uh voices together um a thousand screens eventually um just in one uh video uh that's that takes a lot of work and uh this uh i can tell a lot of work went into this video um from the engineering from uh alex and husky by the geek um to uh just everything um wow this is this is just amazing um now uh wow uh, now uh the story um one of the uh, reasons that um, people are uh, always dedicating things to uh, Sokin is that he, during the um, final part of uh, Shadowbringers, um, he was in the hospital uh, being treated for cancer and still writing songs for the game. Um, he kept it from everyone except for a select few people at uh the higher ups at uh square enix um and uh yoshi p uh naoki yoshida uh the producer um he didn't tell any of the writing team any of the uh uh other people that he worked with um and uh Keeping, keeping his schedule normalized um, and, you know, working through it kind of kept him feeling normal and um, giving him the strength to uh, kind of continue onward um, and keep fighting because it gave him something to do. And um, I, I kind of have a... Uh, uh, my my dad uh was diagnosed with uh cancer back in uh nineteen eighty eight. Uh January of nineteen eighty eight. And uh he had uh, uh brain cancer and um he uh they gave him about three months 
and he took nine years before he uh, finally uh, passed away. And um, yeah, they they weren't the best years, but um, yeah, we we still got them for nine years instead of just three months. So um, there's a lot of uh, family history with uh, cancer. Um, I I totally uh, I totally uh, do get the uh, you know the fight against cancer. Um, I I had a uh, melanoma that um, I had to uh, have removed. Um, I've had uh, actually I've had a couple. Um, now that I think about it, um, and um, I am obviously because of my dad, I am at risk um, for uh, cancer as I grow older. So I have to uh, keep an eye on things. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just something that's constantly, uh, in our, in our, uh, in the rear view mirror, um, just, you know how it be. And, uh, uh, so, you know, I, I, I'm very glad that, uh, Sokin's cancer is in remission. Um, he is, uh, last I heard, he is cancer-free for the time being. Um, and I, 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 unfortunately, I feel obligated to say for the time being, because you're never fully safe once you've had cancer the first time. Um, but um, he's, uh, his hair's grown back, um, uh, as far as I know. Um, he, uh... He just played a huge uh, concert with uh, the Primals, which is his uh, band, um, and uh, he uh, that that's actually coming out on uh, Blu-ray in, uh, in uh, August or September. Um, so uh, mark your calendars, um, and uh, you know it's I I'm 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 just really thrilled for him. Because uh, uh, if you can beat cancer, um, that's that's a huge, huge thing. Um, my dad went through uh, three surgeries. Um, they got it the first time. It came back. They got it the second time with uh, gamma knife radiation surgery. He was one of the uh, first... Uh, wave of uh patients for uh gamma slash x knife radiation surgery um they got it with that and then it came back more aggressive the third time i think he only actually had two surgeries it's it's there there's some extenuating circumstances as far as my memory goes but um yeah um and um the third time it just was inoperable so uh yeah um but uh yeah it's uh no one told us that it was the uh aggressive recurring type the first time so um that was a bit of a surprise um and not a good one but um hopefully um and i i i mean this from the bottom of my heart hopefully Silken's cancer is gone for good and um we get many, many, many more years with him. Even if he's not working on uh, Final Fantasy XIV, just as a human being. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my reaction to this video. This is uh, this is really great. the uh, The link to the video will be in the extended. Um, and uh, hopefully, I'll get this put up in a couple of. Uh, Minutes? Hours? Who knows? Thanks for watching, folks. You can catch me any day of the week, any time of the day, at waytolatetv.com. Uh, waytolatetv.com. Um, you can find my uh, Twitter, my YouTube uh, playlist for every single uh, series that I do. And uh, 
couple other bits and bobs that I'm sure you'll find entertaining there. Uh, and uh, upcoming uh, streaming schedule uh, for when I actually do start going live again uh, sometime in the near future. Um, the streaming schedule will be up sometime in the near future. Um, but, you know, chronic pain patron. So uh, it's uh, it all depends on uh, how, how well I'm feeling before I can actually go live again on uh, YouTube Live. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, um, Alex McCullough, uh, Husky by the Geek, and everyone, thank you for this. This has been wonderful. Take care, everyone. Way too late to be.